Well, we are less than a week away from the start of the Maple Leafs season, and the optimism is once again high for a team that, as of today, has one of the best odds to win the Stanley Cup, according to the odds makers, Rob Wong. Joined alongside by Toronto Sun Maple Leafs beat writer Terry Koshan to get an update on Maple Leafs camp. And Terry, got to begin with maybe the story of camp so far, and that is Nick Robertson, who has been lighting the world on fire on the score sheet in his last couple of games, getting a very prominent role right now in the top six. Where would you put his uh, chances right now of making this team on opening night? Well, they're excellent, Rob. And, you know, he he's – the one thing about preseason you have to be careful of is, you know, who are these players doing these things against? Is it full NHL lineups? Well, no, it's not. But we are seeing increasingly more NHL players than Nick Robertson's playing against, and he keeps doing what he's doing. The latest example in Montreal the other night. So, you know, assuming uh, – you know, the Leafs have two uh, preseason games left now, uh, both uh, against the Red Wings – Make the assumption that Robertson will play on Saturday at home against the Wings, uh, not not Friday in Detroit. Sheldon Keith telling us on Wednesday that the plan is to use more of an NHL-ready uh, roster on Saturday at home. So that's what I'm assuming could be off and that. We'll find out today, I guess, at practice. But um, Robertson's looking great, uh, using his speed to his advantage. His shot, of course, has always been there. He's a smart hockey player. And now we see, you know, he gets, an in, he gets a chance perhaps – on the line with William Nylander and, and uh, Dennis Malgin. So all, all good things all around for Nick Robertson. And really, um, this is what kind of, this is what the Leafs have been waiting for a bit with him. They, they wanted him to start putting the puck in the net. They liked the little things he was doing. He's now bringing both uh, elements to his game, and, and his camp is showing that. Now, you mentioned William Nylander centering that line with Robertson and uh, Maligan. Of course, the absence of John Tavares has uh, made that a possibility. Head coach Sheldon keeps saying it's not uh, a long-term term thing here uh, with Nylander at center, but we have seen it in spurts uh, in the past. I mean, how many times do you think we could see that this year um, if, you know, Sheldon Keith is looking to maybe shake things up with his lineup? Well, certainly there's a comfort level with putting Nylander in the middle. I don't think there's any doubt about that. And, uh, you know, this look we're getting now, Rob, you're right. You know, uh, the, the Wednesday look between the uh, the two roster hopefuls and Robertson and Maligan, um, you know, keeps saying it's a bit of a placeholder for Tavares. And, uh, you know, he, Tavares, of course, coming back from the oblique injury. There's a tiny chance he could be ready to play next week. I don't think that's going to happen. He's got to get into a few practices and get going first before that really does happen. But uh, the Leafs know they can use Nylander there. And, you know, it, it could be an option for them opening night. We'll see what unfolds in practice over the next few days, what unfolds against the Red Wings. But, uh, like I said, certainly there's a comfort factor there. And, um, you know, if we see that this season, don't be too surprised. I mean, injuries will occur. And, uh, you know, Nylander is a pretty easygoing guy. He's completely fine with the idea. And he certainly has a skill set to do it. So, uh, you know, a glimpse of it yesterday. We'll see where it goes from here. But it's going to be an option for Selden Keith this year for sure. And finally, a couple of guys on the back end trying to work their way back into the lineup. Jake Muzzin, of course, who's been dealing with that back discomfort all training camp. And Rasmus Sandin, who recently uh, just signed. How uh, much are these guys uh, going to get to play in the final few games, uh, if any? And uh, are they going to be ready on opening night? I think they both will be. Uh, you know, Muzzin playing with Justin Hall yesterday, Giordano and Sandin, the third pair. You know, for Sandin, it's really just getting up the game speed. His health is fine. And Muzzin... Uh, you know, all reports are in both talking to him and getting the word from Sheldon Rob that his back, he's getting through things fine. And it's, it's, it's been an ongoing issue that he's had, really. I mean, the guy had herniated disc uh, surgery when he was 17, 16, 17. So it's always been part of his career. Flared up a bit before camp, but, uh, you know, they're both on track to be, excuse me, in the lineup on opening night. And uh, at this point now, I think uh, I'd be surprised if there was a setback either way. Well, just a few more preseason games remaining for the Leafs before the real thing next Wednesday against Montreal. That's Terry Koshan. You can find his work at the Toronto Sun.